Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. I hope you're all well. We're here. It is Friday and we are finishing up this week with the Dialga Kyoga team that we kicked off with at the beginning of this week. Thanks to all of you for suggesting this restricted pair. It's been a really nice week on the channel. We've had a few games and episodes that have been a bit shorter because of DCs, but it just contributes towards how well the team is actually doing. Um, and it's been really incredible to play it so far this week, and I'm looking forward to playing it into next week. Like I was saying in yesterday's episode, if you've missed that, go back over here. I'll put a card up for you. You can check that out before you watch this one. But we haven't seen too much of the circuitry in the bronze zone, so hopefully we can bring a bit more of those as we go into today's episode and next week's episode. Um, but it would be nice to finish and touch wood. I don't jinx things, but if we can finish unbeaten this week with this team, that would uh, be a real change for the books. So we'll jump into it today and uh, hop onto the ladder. Hopefully find an opponent pretty quickly. But as always, if you enjoy this content, make sure that you do leave a like on the video. It really does help the channel out. And also make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss these daily episodes when they do come out, as well as all our other VGC content. But we have our first opponent of the day, so we'll hop straight over into Team Preview. And our first opponent today playing a team of Sceptile, Incineroar, Xerneas, Sableye, Sogaleo and Tapu Lele. So we've got the Sogaleo and Xerneas combination for the restricted Pokemon here for my opponent. Got support options there with the Xerneas uh, and the Incineroar obviously being its primary support option there. You've got Sableye as well. Maybe another one with Fake Out, Gravity and lots of other shenanigans. I would imagine there's a Gravity option to this team because you've got something like Sceptile that has grass whistle it can be pretty problematic for us especially with the gravity from potentially a scarf tapu lele here um, or the sableye to support everything else in the team so it's definitely a mod for my opponent um, but i think overall if we can get the trick room set up we will be in a pretty nice position here and um, bronzong doing a decent job against the majority of this team especially as the incineroar is the only thing that they've got to really hit for good damage outside of that sableye that probably has foul play um, so I'm going to bring Bronzong, I'm going to bring Incineroar as well, I'm going to bring Amoongus, and I don't think I bring Dialga to this one. I think we do need um, some big firepower once we get the Trick Room up and to start ripping through stuff, so I'm going to finish up with the Kyogre, and that is us. So let's get into this first one today, hopefully it's a good one and you guys all enjoy it, so yeah. But yeah, keep telling me about the Dialga build. If you're trying it out, if you tried this specific team out or different ones out, I'd love to hear experiences with it, but it just feels so solid in this format. It's such a good Pokemon and so defensively built, especially with the right Pokemon around it, like Incineroar, Moongus, and Kyogre. They just like complement each other so well. We're gonna see the Sableye and the Xerneas come out for my opponent here. So we can trade fake outs if we'd like to. Um, and it's probably the best option here, um, Trick Room and Fake Out, because if the Sableye decides to Fake Out our Incineroar, then we get the Trick Room up, which is very nice for us. Um, and if they Fake Out the Bronzong, then we Fake Out the Xerneas. Xerneas switching out. Okay, and Incineroar going to hit the field. That's fine, that's fine. We don't mind that too much. Okay, so we'll fake out. Uh, no fake out from the Sableye. Oh, we do actually outspeed the, the Sableye. So the Sableye is really actually quite slow here. Um, all right, that's quite interesting to know. Um, we'll probably see a knockoff into Bronzong um, and a foul play as well to deny the Trick Room. The Trick Room is really important for us here. I'm going to bring in Amoongus, and what I'm going to do is U turn out onto the Sableye with our Incineroar and try and pivot in Kyogre for this next turn. Um, Among Us is going to be able to take a combination of attacks. I think knockoff foul play will be enough for it to take. We're actually just going to see a Will O Wisp into what was the Bronzong slot. And Among Us doesn't mind that too much, um, but it'll be interesting to see what this opposing Incineroar goes for. Uh, we are going to see an eject button that will come out from this Sableye before and deny our actual eject uh, a U turn here. Which is pretty interesting for my opponent, and they'll be able to bring something in. And it is going to be that Sogaleo now uh, onto the field uh, and a knockoff into the Amoongus slot, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, okay. So, taking a little bit of chip there. But I think what we'll do with Amoongus now, we need to try and utilize this um, 
Regenerate her ability. I don't see another knockoff coming into that slot, so we'll go for that there. And I'm going to just U turn again into the opposing Incineroar. We've got to worry about a superpower, but if it's not life old, we should take it from the Sogaleo. Um, we might even see Zen Headbutt into. I'm oh, just going to see Sunsteel Strike. It's going to be into that Moonga slot. Bronze aren't going to be able to take this pretty comfortably here um, as we can get the Kyogre in before a potential Flare Blitz into that slot as well. Um, but we might see a knockoff from the Incineroar as well into this our Incineroar slot, which wouldn't be great, but at the same time, Kyogre's got the, the Waterium Z, so it's not going to be worrying too much about that. Getting the rain up is pretty important for us here, especially for Flare Blitz is what the Incineroar goes for now. Flare Blitz, it is! Excellent. Okay, it's into Bronzong. Kind of covering that slot and doing a lot of damage. And the burn. <sighs> Which is really disappointing for us because the one thing that we don't want to have to be dealing with right now is um, a Bronzong on such low health where we can't really utilize our Trick Room. Um, I'm going to bring in Amoongus for Bronzong. We're going to have to try and utilize Rage Powder and go for that route rather than our Trick Room route. So let's see what this Sogaleo goes for. I'd imagine it probably attacks into the Kyogre here. Wide Guard. Okay, that's interesting. And knock off again. into the Amoongus, but not going to be doing too much because of, we've already lost that item. Um, okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, Rage Powder? Oh, mm, yeah, I think Rage Powder. And let's go for a... Do we go Water Spout? Are we probably better off going for the Waterium into Sogaleo here? Could go Wide Guard again. And I know they might not, but there's all... we'd, look, we'd look super silly if we go for the Water Spout into... Um, <clears throat> okay, so the Sableye going to come in, Rage Powder going to help support us against this Sogaleo. Some Steel Strike. Amoongus should take this. Not going to be ideal. Ah, oh, we lose Amoongus. That is, that is terrible for us. And it is Life Orb, which we didn't pick up on in the previous turn. So, not paying enough attention, really. Right, okay. <clears throat> Kyogre's a big win con in this game. 100% now. We can't really rely on Bronzong in the Trick Room now. Not with two Dark types. Um, and we've mentioned before in, in, in games this week how um, two Dark types on my opponent's side of the field, it makes us not want to bring the bronze on where we brought it in this game and it's probably been the better decision all in all uh, for every time when we've not brought it the burns haven't helped um, but again okay so we're gonna see Xerneas come back out now for my opponent all right um, now we know that Kyogre is actually faster than the the Sableye uh, but I mean we could fake out the Xerneas and call, try and get a Calm Mind here would be pretty nice. Like, Calm Minding would be good. Because if we can get two Calm Minds up, then we kind of put ourselves on on par with the uh, opposing Xerneas. We're just going to see a fake out. Where's it going to be? Into Kyogre. Yeah, burnt turn. That makes a lot of sense. And we can't really do too much to deny the uh, the old Geomancy here because we've not got Snarl or anything. Um, we can Water Spout. And we could Calm Mind. Uh, we could just water spout, get rid of the Sableye, and you um, turn out on that slot as well. I think that's probably the best thing to do. The Xerneas definitely goes Geomancy. Oh, sunny day. That is not what we needed to see. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a Geomancy. Getting wrecked. Get wrecked by Sableye. Xerneas. Mm. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, we can't really do anything now. Um, hmm. 
And water spout's going to do very little to this um, this good old deer here. Uh, we're not going to be able to get the Sableye with this U-turn either, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, but I don't feel like we've got like there's much point um, in us. I mean, I could just try and get some damage onto this the Xerneas, let the Bronzong get sacked, bring Incineroar back in, get the fake out, calm mind. Probably just see the, the Xerneas dazzle here, I would imagine. But that double fake out support is so good for Xerneas. We've seen it so many times this season. I don't feel like we're going to have really too much to uh, to take this out. And I think it was just the Bronzong selection here which has let us down. Maybe Dialga would have been a better one. Um, but the Sunny Days kind of locked us out of this one. Which is, uh, yeah, we've already cursed ourselves. So the winning streak is, is going to finally be over, I think, here. <coughs> I don't feel like we're going to be able to pull this one back, not in front of Xerneas, not without two of our own combines, and even then with the sun up it kind of really puts us in a, in a bad spot. Mm. But one of the things we could potentially do is, our Incineroar is not intimidated. So with the sun up, we can potentially Flare Blitz the Xerneas and pick up the knockout there, depending on its build. And if we can do that, then we've got a way to kind of potentially come back into this match, because I don't think Sableye and Incineroar are able to, to beat Kyogre. And there, yeah, so maybe. Maybe we can still do this one. Oh, so close. So close. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense doing that, because now you've got the... Yeah, now you got the fake out again to come in. My opponent's playing nicely here and trying to secure it, but uh, doesn't gleam. Probably doesn't get Incineroar, and a Scald will definitely, even in the sun, get this Xerneas. And a Moonblast isn't going to be enough to take down Kyogre at this range. Um, so I'm just going to go for a U-turn, and I'm going to go for a Scald here. You can only fake out one target. It is going to be the Kyogre. Moonblast gets the Incineroar here for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Sunlight does fade. Yeah, we have to scald. And now I think it's too far gone. Like that turn locked it there for us. There was a little bit of hope for us coming back in, but it was all about whether my opponent misplayed if they dazzled there instead of moon blasting like yeah they did they did super well it's just a shame that the Xerneas hung on from that flare blitz like we should take this no no we shouldn't too much chip um i would have thought we would have actually we didn't have that much chip but good game to my opponent not the best start for us today, but um, we will turn things around and see if we can approach things a bit better. Like I say, the, I think the big problem with, with that one was bringing bronze on. Two dark types are a no-no. We need Dialga, 100%. But we'll move on to our next opponent. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find them, and then we'll be good to go. Hopefully we can bring Zerkatry. We haven't brought Zerkatry for ages, so bringing Zerkatry would be really nice um, if we can bring it. Because we had that really good game earlier in the week with it, where it just demolished our opponent with those tail glows. We've got our next opponent, so we'll go straight into team preview. Popular combination of Groudon, Xerneas, Amoongus, Tapu Koko, Incineroar, and Braviary. So, it's a QR code team. Um, I haven't seen this one, so it's going to be fresh in 
and we'll be fresh into this one without any information prior to the match. Uh, common combination, Groudon, Xerneas, we all know what that does. Uh, Groudon protecting Xerneas from the steel types of the ground type attacks has probably got the Groundium. If it hasn't, then I would likely be on the Tapu Koko. Got to be careful with that Intimidate support and, and this one because of that Braviary. Uh, it has the Defiant ability, it has access to Tailwind as well. Primary speed control on this team outside of Electro Web. There's not really many other options elsewhere. So if we can get our Trick Room up, deal with the Amoogus pretty well. Uh, this one actually feels where one where Bronzong would be quite good because um, we've got the Levitt here to help us against the Groudon um, and the, the safety goggles do give us a bit of an out against the, the Amoongus at least. Um, I think what we'll do is lead Bronzong. Um, hmm. I want to bring Incineroar but I don't want to bring it at the same time. I think I might, you know, I'm kind of tempted to bring Zerkatry to this game. I definitely need Kyogre. Um, do I bring Dialga? Is Dialga worth bringing to this one, or are we just gone like the Amunga Shot or Incineroar? Uh, Incineroar could be really useful, but uh, let's go Dialga. Let's go Dialga. Let's bring our Restricted. Two Restricted's better than no Restricted's, right? And let's end with a win today to give ourselves all a good, a good feeling going into the weekend, like we all like to do. I feel like we can do it. And what's this? Like ten games this week? So. That's nine and one. That's not bad if we win this one. Eight and two. Still alright, but it's not like it's not like it's not perfect. It's not perfection. So we're gonna see that good old lead like we always see from the uh <sighs> Incineral and the Xenius. Okay. We could have led off with Incineral. You see the bravery area just puts the kind of stoppers on you straight away. Um we're going to get faked out from the Incineroar, for sure. Uh, now, we could set up... <laughs> I think we'll bring in Dialga. Because I think the way to win this game is to, to get a Trick Room up, for sure. Maybe we're going to have to sack something the next turn. Um, we can't really get around the Geomancy. Mm. Let's switch out Bronzong into Dialga. And let's see you to Oh, we can't. And we're going to bring in... I'm going to bring in Kyogre as well and get the rain up as soon as we can. Xerneas actually switching out straight away, which is which is pretty surprising to me, honestly. I didn't see that. I thought Fake Out Geomancy Turn 1 would be the, the play there. But, no. I wonder what we're going to see the, the Incineroar do. It has to deny the Trick Room, because otherwise... Hey, well, it could be going for a uh, flare blitz into that, that Bronzong slot for sure. Hmm. And there's a flare blitz, it's just trying to get rid of the Bronzong. Such a big problem, I guess, for my opponent to deal with, so it makes a lot of sense to do that. Um, Groudon now coming in. Um, but we can get Bronzong back onto the field now uh, with Levitate and try and get the Trick Room set up. I'm just going to protect Kyogre this turn. Without any Intimidate, we need to be careful for that Groudon because we're not able to weaken its Precipice Blades. And it might come to the point where we, we are having to um, to sacrifice something. We're going to see a Moongus come onto the field, which is fine. Because we're not setting Trick Room up just yet. So we don't need to worry about it too much. And if the Groudon stays out... Oh, Groudon just protecting here. Hmm. Interesting. And we protect with Kyogre there. And I mean, we can probably... Hmm. Did we just Water Spout? Or Scald? Or Waterium? The Groudon switches out 100% here. The Groudon 100% switches out. Hmm. But I think you just attack the Dialga. Um, what could we do? I kind of just want to get damage onto everything, really. So I, I, I'm going to just ally switch and water spout. We could see a spall, like, but it's just the tectonic rage it could come out from that. Yeah, it's a stomping tantrum. 
but it's not going to work because we're going to be able to get rid of it now. So this is coming in handy. <laughs> okay, there we go. I <laughs> instant disconnect from my opponent. <laughs> That's what Ally Switch does. That's what Ally Switch does. Okay. There's this ball. Oh, that is the worst turn in the world for my opponent ever. <laughs> Okay, at least we come back in that one. Um, all right, guys. Uh, well, let's go into another one because that doesn't really make too good a way to end the episode, does it? So we'll get a squeeze one more in today. Um, but that is hilarious. I like Switch doing all the tricks. That's the title of the episode right there for us all, isn't it? So there's a good one. Oh, man. You've got to feel bad. we got Tommy from Japan as our next opponent. So with his shades on, looking all cool. So we'll go into this. Uh, Groudon, Xerneas, Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Cortana, and Shininja. So, what have we got to hit that Shininja with? We've got to make sure we've got something sticking around to hit it with, which is going to be the uh, the Incineroar. Uh, <laughs> so, we need to protect that more than anything in this match. Like, literally. Because if it comes down to it and we've got nothing else, then we're screwed. Right. Incineroar is the, the thing that we need to keep more preserved than anything else in this match. Um, so, I am going to even though I say this, I'm going to lead off with Incineroar, um, and I'm going to lead off with, do we bring Bronzong? Let's bring Bronzong, let's bring Kyogre, and let's bring Dialga, Dialga, Dialga. Dialga's not bad here, um, but Amoongus could also be quite useful. Um, although Dialga's probably a little bit better because of the, the misty terrain on the Amoongus. So at least we're going to get another bonus game today, guys, which is course good, isn't it? So uh, let's see. Good luck to you, Tommy, and uh, hopefully we can get a win. I'm pretty confident we can. we just got to manage things well enough because it's like that end game. If it comes down to Shit Ninja versus Incineroar, we've got it all day long. But if we, like I say, if we lose Incineroar, then it's game if my opponent's brought the Shit Ninja. They probably identified that as well. So, you know, we've got to keep that in mind for when we are playing it. Groudon, Tapu Fini coming out for my opponent. Probably going to see Gravity as well as a thing. Um, but I think turn one, we're pretty safe going. Switch out Incineroar Trick Room. It's not a bad play. But like I say, we've got to, we've got to really preserve this Incineroar more than anything. Uh, I don't think we see a Tectonic Rage turn one. We could totally see a Swagger. Uh, Precipice Blades. Um... But we'll just go for that trick room and get the, the rain up. Because you could see as well, like a Nature's Madness Fire Punch into the Bronzong to try and remove it before the trick room gets set up. Um, but they've got a big worrying about Fake Out as well from the, the Incineroar. So, there we go. That's the one thing we didn't want to see. And that's the second one we didn't want to see. Ah. Oh, Kyogre probably takes it. I mean, but we don't have our trick room option anymore, which is not so good. But we do burn the um, the tectonic rage. <sighs> What's with all these tapus carrying taunt these days? Man, look at how well we take that on minus one. That's great. Uh, all right, let us just go for. I think. Um, Let's try and get some leeway in this match. Go for the Waterium into the Groudon. Um, or we could just protect Kyogre, I think. Um, hmm. If any goes first, Nature's Madness into the Kyogre, and then a Precipice Blades would take us down 100%. Let's protect and get Incineroar back onto the field. Okay, Grad, I'm going to switch out. So we could have done this. A Shin Ninja going to come in to try and sap up that... Um, yeah, sap up the Waterium Z. We'll probably see an Icy Wind or an Nature's Madness. Or even a, a Swagger from the Finian to the Shin Ninja. It's quite a good strategy, I think. Yeah, there we are. This can probably take down our Incineroar. Gotta be careful, it's got uh, X Scissor. 
Um, we will bring in Dialga and um, we'll go for a knockoff into the Sheninja. We're not going to be get. We're going to have to take it down two hits because it's blatantly got the Focus Sash. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is bring in uh, Bronzong because we've got Ally Switch. So if we can at least take one attack from the Shid Ninja this turn. Then we can ally switch the next turn. Okay. Gardon coming back out. Makes a lot of sense. And we're just knocking off into that slot for no reason. Um, hmm. Incineroar, we have to keep. We have to keep Incineroar. We have to. Uh, uh. I'm going to just gyro ball the Groudon. And I'm going to switch it. I'm going to have to switch in Dialga. Dialga is like the one thing I can sack at this point. Unless the Groudon goes Fire Punch into Bronzong, and then we are screwed. But I think it's more likely to go precipice because of the incoming war like why they're coming in there's another taunt yep there's nothing we can do to get around that we need to get rid of this finny but yeah precipice blades this will take dialga down easy easy peasy i don't know if we can actually like win this game it's it's going to be pretty difficult depends how much this does just not enough. Not enough at all. Um, hmm. Let's get Incy in. I've got a bank on the ground I'm protecting here. So I'm going to gyro ball and I'm going to U-turn. Uh, out onto the Finny here. Hoping the Groudon protects so we can get Kyogre on the field. Oh, not protect. Not even bothered about. Like, literally not bothered about Fake Out coming out into that slot this turn. Yeah. Does not care. Now that's it. That's going to be game. Why did we have an extra game today? I mean, it's nice seeing this team composition. It's, it's done super well, but at the same time, it's not a lot we can do against it. The the taunt on the type of Finny just shutting us down. And um, without Amoongus to support us, there's nothing we can do. Uh, yeah, and the Shin Ninja as well, another issue throwing up for us that we can't really operate too well. It's a nice team. A very nice team indeed. Um, but I guess all we can do is try. We can't even do anything with with bronze on. Um, I mean the Groudon could switch out, I doubt it does. Uh, and we could calm mind. But we can't we can't beat the Shin Ninja now. This is the whole thing. There's just no way to beat it. No way. Hmm. Come on. Come on Tommy. Hurry up. You've you've won this game man. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the ground on out. Should ninja coming back in? Should we try and be cheeky and uh, try and see if we can skill swap? Skill swap the should ninja. It's never gonna work, and we're never gonna be allowed to because we can't taunt. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna forfeit because I don't want this episode gone on any longer than 30 minutes and there's no way we can come back into this now with the wonder god there uh taunt wise off but i mean that's it yeah so we can't do anything um very good game to my opponent um we had one more extra today uh, but a nice team composition for maybe to try going forward i think there's a lot of 
like a lot of room in this format for this team uh, that Tommy's playing so props to him really nice to see something I'll probably like to uh, try out maybe sometime on the stream so um, thank you so much for tuning in guys have a great weekend uh, whatever you're up to and uh, we'll be back on Monday with more School of Hard Knacks shenanigans with this Dialga Kyoga team so until then guys take care of yourselves and bye bye